Zoom. Hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> How's it going? So I asked an important question yesterday on my page. And what I asked you was, tell me, tell me, you know, what is the one thing that you should be doing that you're not doing in your business to help it grow? And drum roll, <laughs> the number one answer I got was marketing. And the second was consistency. I'm like, Okay, so let's let's make sense of this here, right? If you need to do marketing to make sure that your business grows, then why aren't you doing it? <laughs> so now, last week, I already gave you the rant about what are you waiting for. So today, I just want to give you some four basic tips to make sure that you are doing marketing and marketing correctly. My glasses were stuck and now they look all... Oh, crazy. Make sure that you're doing marketing correctly as well as at the right time, right? And really answer your questions that you sent me about being consistent and not being consistent in your business. So, um, well, you know, we should start with who the heck am I? All right. So my name is Rochelle Shaw. I am the author of The Million Dollar Equation and of Jackpot how to build a million dollar business in Las Vegas without the casinos. What have I done? So what qualifies me to even be here to talk to you about marketing. So I owned a telephone company. Um, I was the only female African-American public utility owner in the nation. I built a telephone company here in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada from 300,000 to 36 million. I lost it all after 9-11 and then I rebuilt back my million dollar business in about five months. And now I teach entrepreneurs how to do the same exact thing. So as far as marketing, I had to do marketing in my business to continue to grow it. And there are several things that I learned in that journey, both the first time in growing it so big to over a hundred million dollars in sales over three years to after losing it all and where to start and how to start over. What do you need to do to really get the word out to your customer? So I always started and I start now, especially when I work with folks that are in my private Facebook groups, um, when I work with people who are my private clients and speaking at events, I always start with your who because your marketing won't work if we don't fix who you're talking to. So who is your customer? Who is it? Do you know them? Do you know what they do? Do you know what they like? Do you know um, where they go? You know, do you know what events they attend? Do you know what's important to them? You know, what is it? So it's really hard to talk to your customers if you don't know who their who is. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. I love you too. You know, how do you know that? How do you know? So when I was in the telephone business, I was targeting uh, people who were credit challenged. So I had a prepaid telephone service. I was one of the very first to start that way. I was one of the first to do flat rate billing. So you know how now when you go, hey, I love the loves too. You know how now when you get your phone bill, like the 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 long distance as well as your regular minutes are just solid, right? There's, you pay taxes after that and other fees, but it's just one fee. Well, for me, I was one of them that started that. So that's how your phone is that way now. <laughs> but so let's move on. I had to think of what customer did that work for, right? Who, who is that? What do they want? And what is it about them so that when I create my message, it works? Yes. So when you're thinking about well, how do I reach them? I already start with who? I never start with what do I like? So I <laughs> cringe. I was going to say some other words, but I cringe when I talk to someone and they're always telling me, oh, well, um, I just do social media. And I'm like, well, is your customer on social media? And they go, well, well yeah, everybody's on social media. I said, that's not true. That's not true. There are people on social media, and yes, there are millions on social media, but you even have to pick which social media your customers are on. So I just recently um, had a client who was targeting people who were moving from their corporate job into entrepreneurship, right? Um, Anton, he's uh, amazing. He is actually one of the speakers in my summit later next week. It starts next next Tuesday. Yes, next no, 
next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I've got a virtual summit with 22 different speakers. It is fantastic. You may need to make sure that you grab a free seat to that. Um, but his target was people who are leaving the corporate and starting their entrepreneur path. And I said, well, those folks really aren't on Facebook if Facebook is where you're running ads. And he's like, huh? <laughs> And then he said, you know what? You know, I never thought about that. I said, no, those people are on LinkedIn, right? That's a totally different strategy. So when you start with your who first, when you start with where are those people, where do they hang out, what do they like, what do they read, do they read? Like, so my credit challenge people, you know, it was silly to put an ad in the newspaper because they're not newspaper people. Where did I run my ads? I ran my ads on radio so that now they could hear it. Right? You know, this is back before podcasts, back before any of those things. So if, if you are targeting radio people or even podcast people, so the reason why I do so many different things in so many different media is because I'm reaching a different customer in their place, other place. So when I go into a business to really transform it and to build it over the million dollar level, one of the things that I always look at is how many ways are they using to get a new customer? And if they're only using one way, then, <laughs> you know, real fun secret is that is absolutely the way that I fix it, <laughs> right? The way that I totally fix it is I go in and I go get them to use multiple ways. So that now it's not, we're not just relying on one thing. So that's where I think you guys are struggling with what should I be doing, right? Um, and then you're just kind of following other people who are following somebody else who are really lost. So I don't want you to be lost. I want you to be focused in what is your absolute strategy to target your target market and your ideal customer. Who is that? And then once we know who they are, then go directly to them, right? There's, there's only the best way to reach them is to go directly to them, not around the corner, not who I hope, not, you know, all these other things. I just want you to go straight to them so that they hear your message and make sure that that's where your customer is. Um, you call them out, you say who they are. So for me, a great customer for me is an entrepreneur who's already at like probably year two, um, who has hustled their way to about six figures and now they want to get to seven. That's a great client for me. That's a client who, who really is interested in changing their life, changing their business, right? Um, can I help startups? Absolutely. I even have a product just for startups, right? It's called Breakthrough. It really helps you birth this, this plan and this business that you're at. Um, but that's not truly an ideal customer for me. It's just that, when I talk to my ideal, oftentimes those that are that are not, you know, my favorite come to me and I have to have something to help them. Like, I don't just want to say, no, I don't help you. I want to say, here, come take this first. It'll help you get to the six figures and then we can work one on one. But I don't work one on one with those. Does that make sense? Hopefully um, that makes sense. I see I got a comment over here. Let me see who this is so that uh, I can say hi. Oh, it's Tanisha. So not true. What's so not true? That that all of your customers are everywhere? So I know you said so not true. So what does that mean? Um, and to make sure that, that maybe I need to explain myself or maybe I'll have you explain yourself if you're still here. Don't know if you're still here. So once you know who your customer is, then figuring out what to do is much easier because then now we know where to find them. So if your customer is an avid um, blogger, right, or they read blogs, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to blog so that you call out your customer. If your customer is an avid TV watcher, then guess what you're going to do? <laughs> you're going to run your ads on TV or you're going to buy some space on television so that now they can see, you know, your own infomercial 
or you can buy your own segment on a local TV show. So like we have in Vegas, we have the Morning Blend that's on our ABC channel. We also have um, on the more show on the show that I'm on where I do my financial segments they have a portion where you can buy a segment there too so depending on who you want to reach and how you want to reach your customer there are so many opportunities but most of the time I get folks who don't want they don't want to spend any money it's like okay well you can do that but where are your customers so if they're only on the media where you spend money, now you're you're wasting your time. I'd much rather you take your time out and save your cash <laughs> so that now you could reach those people instead of that foolishness that you that you're posting and then mad that that the post doesn't go viral. Yeah. That's no fun. Um so the second question I got is when should you do the marketing? Right? When should I do it? And I'm like, "Well, well what do you mean when?" <laughs> you know, uh, all the time so you don't have a crystal ball nobody has a crystal ball as to when your customer is ready to buy what your job is is to be out and consistent so that now the customer sees your message when they are ready to buy so if you just do it when you feel like it or do it when you need money or do it when it's convenient for you then guess how your money's gonna come when the customer feels like it, when it's convenient for them, right? So random implementation gets you random money. Consistent implementation gets you consistent money. So when should you do it? Should be all the time. You should be, if you're posting, if social media is your strategy, then I, you know, on LinkedIn, I think you should be there twice a day. On Instagram, I think you should be there four times a day. On Facebook, I think you should be there at least four times a day, creating a different message each time so that now it stands out to somebody. Um, I also think that before you post, before you do it, you should be priming your audience. There's, there's lots of different ways to get your social media discovered, and especially now with the new algorithm, you need to make sure that you have things together, <laughs> and it's not just random, because random ass gets you random ass money period, end of story. So if you're tired of your money being a fluctuation, if you're tired of your money being inconsistent, if you're tired of the roller coaster in your business, then the first thing that I will say to you is you need to be more consistent. And so that was the third question that I got. You know, how can I be more consistent in my business? Well, the first thing that I would tell you to do is that you need to create a marketing calendar. So what is a marketing calendar? Marketing calendar is chapter three in the million dollar equation. Here it is. It's chapter three, right? And it is, you lay out the year and you put when you are going to do things. Like you start out with what are the major holidays and how do the holidays impact your business? How do they impact your business? Do they impact it in a great way? Well, awesome, then we need to prepare right now. You know, do they impact it in a horrible way? Then you need to prepare right now, right? Uh, October 31st, Halloween is the number one adult holiday. Number one adult holiday, bigger than Mother's Day. This is crazy, right? So if you are targeting millennial adults, then you need to have some type of Halloween promotion. And getting that together is you need to prepare for it. Um, the second way to be consistent is to automate some of your marketing. So you need to have you know, your email newsletters automated, your social media automated, because you can't sit here for it all day to wait till, is it, is it, the, is it the third time that I can post yet? You know, that's, that's not it. You need to have something automated so that you can work in your business too while you're working on it. Or if that's just your job to promote it, great then I would say automate it so that you can work on another way to do it. And the last is um, to over overcome this consistency thing is I want you to pre-do it. You know, if you are a last minute Sally, then you're going to get paid last minute. And that's not going to be good. You want to be forward, always have it out and available so that what's next is always coming and you're not sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting to be paid. Because just like, you know, when you're making a steak and you put the marinade on it, right, and you do it the night before, 
so that all of the juices and all of the spices are inside of it, that's what your marketing is doing when you're consistent with it, right? Think about it. When you just put the salt and pepper on the stage and you put it on there, it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. But it doesn't taste as good as the one that's been sitting in the marinade all night or the one that's been smoked, right, all night, 24 hours, when you could see the smoke ring. And now you get the flavor that's all through the meat, and the meat is still juicy, and it's delicious. That's what you're looking for. When you are doing your marketing and you're consistent, is you need to have it in the smoke ring. You need to have it where it's still juicy so that when they see it, they can't wait to invest in an offer. But if you do a last minute one, salt and pepper, you're gonna get the low hanging fruit and you're gonna get little money. How do you get big money? Is by being more consistent in your marketing message. <sighs> All right, so what else do I have for you? Well, a couple of things. Um, number one, if you need some marketing ideas, Chapter nine in the Million Dollar Equation all goes through um, my 84 ways to get a new customer, 85 ways to get a new customer, and I talk about different things to do so that your marketing, you can implement it in your business. There are free ways, there are ways that cost money, um, and some things that you need to make sure that is there, like the essential marketing triangle. Uh, this is the 99% reason why your marketing isn't working, is because you haven't fixed this triangle. That's inside the book, so that's um, there for you if you'd like to get it. You can get it at themilliondollarequation.com or of course it sells on Amazon every day. Second thing is if you really want to learn about consistency, about building your million dollar business, about um, how to organize yourself to make sure that you can get the maximum amount of hours worth of work done at the same time. Hey Amanda, thanks so much for the good stuff. Um, if you would like that. Now, I'd love for you to join me in my summit next week. It's going to be fantastic. I have a Facebook ad specialist. I have a Google ad specialist that's there. I have the chatbots that are there that if you want your chatbots to work automatically so that you can automate it there, that's a great way to be consistent. Uh, I have my copywriter, Bestie, there. She is fabulous. She just showed just broke down just details. I've got my good friend Casey Eberhardt. He is the networking riches king. Like he networks like nobody else. And he has a wonderful segment. I, it just over and over again, we're just dropping value bonds bomb. So that is next week. Uh, you can grab your registration at rapidgrowthdomination.com. Com, and I will drop that in the comment too so that you'll know that you can go go there and get the free uh, registration for the virtual summit it's gonna be a party y'all <laughs> it's three days packed with 22 speakers where we're just gonna blow your mind um, it's an amazing summit and I'm super excited about that and then lastly if you are a person who learns in person and would like to spend time I've got a couple of seats left at my live mastermind that is here in Vegas uh, October 24th through the 26th it is 25th through the 27th. Man, I'm just having a hard time with dates. But that is super fun too. I would love to have you there and hang out with me so that I can show you exactly how to create your marketing calendar for the year, exactly how to make sure that your marketing triangle is right, and review all of your marketing items before you send it out. So that's what we do. We actually get the work done. So I teach a little bit, and then you do it, and then I teach some more, and then you do it so that you're not leaving just high on a on an event high. You know how it is. You go to an event and you're so high when you leave. Yes, I'm gonna crush it, and then you go home and real life gets in the way. Right? I don't want that to happen. So while you're there, I make sure that you get some work done while you're there. Hey, Katrina, I was just thinking about you too. Uh, Katrina's already coming out to Vegas, so we're excited about her gonna be in the live event. Um, She's got, you know, one of the number one rated spas in Detroit uh, as given by Essence Magazine and lots of other places. Um, she's the bomb.com and so she's coming out and I would love to see the rest of y'all there. And, you know, if you're not doing anything, hang out on my page so that we can spend some more time live together. So um, let's make sure that you are at least getting the marketing done. If you know that that's what's holding you back, 
then dadgummit, it's time to do it. <laughs> It's time to do it and get it done. So um, as I tell you all the time, I love you for free. <laughs> have a good one. And uh, I'll see you in the next couple of days with another live. If you have any other questions or specific things that you'd like for me to answer as I help you build your own million dollar business, you can always leave it right there. And I would be happy to help. All right. Have a good one. See you. Bye.